All right, in this video, I will explain what squashing a rectangle means. Let's use a real-life example to model the squashing action. Imagine four pieces of straw being laced by a string to form a rectangle. Then apply pressure from the top at an angle onto the top straw. What do you think will happen to the rectangular configuration? Did you predict that it will become a parallelogram? What if we were to continue applying pressure from the top? Did you predict that it will become an even flatter parallelogram? As we squash the parallelogram further, does it seem to get smaller? Let's take a look at the effect of squashing a rectangle. So do you see that it becomes a parallelogram? It actually becomes a flatter and flatter one, right? So what is squashing? Now, I put the term squashing in quotes because squashing is not really a mathematical term. So let's describe the term squashing loosely instead of defining it formally. Squashing a rectangle is a flattening action performed on the rectangle such that the points are squeezed together where the interior points get closer to each other but not the boundary points in the sense that the boundary points the space between the boundary points remain the same so let's answer some questions now when we squash a rectangle into a parallelogram now which shape do you think has a smaller area did you predict that the red parallelogram has a smaller area i hope you do the second question which shape do you think has a smaller perimeter? The answer is both shapes have the same perimeter. Let's go back to our model involving straws and a string and revisit the question. As we squash the rectangle, does it seem to get smaller? The answer, it depends. If you are considering the frame made up of straws, then the two shapes have the same size because the size of the straws did not change and the length of the string that goes through those straws remains the same. However, if you are considering the space formed by the frame, then the parallelogram is actually smaller. So the answer depends on what do we mean by size, right? So we have seen that in squashing, the perimeter remains the same. However, the area becomes smaller. Now this is the opposite of shearing, right? We have seen shearing a rectangle earlier.